Bible and answer it. Amos 2 11. Amos 2 11. Amos 2 11. Let's see, what, let's see who the prophets are. The book of Amos, chapter 2. How are you saying I'm not answering anything when I'm reading the Bible, sister? You know what the problem is? She doesn't want to hear the Bible. You know what she wants? She wants us to close this book and let's go to dialogue. Let's read the Bible. Let's see who the prophets are. You ask the question, let's see the prophets are. Come on. Read it up. The book of Amos. Don't run, sister. The truth comes out that you can run. Why are you running? Don't run. Amos 2 11. The book of Amos, chapter 2, verse 11. Who really is the mother? Is that young one the mother? Why is she pulling your hair? That's a disrespectful daughter you have. She should not be doing that. Amos 2 11, let's go. Only knows the, the so nation of what Israel. Did he do? When, did, when he came and he died, what did he say? When he died on the cross, what did he say? Which, which part exactly? Help me out. Which part exactly are you Listen. When he died on the cross. I ain't giving no scripture or nothing, guys. I ain't too, I can't oh, you give too far to the scripture. Okay. But I know what I've done. Alright, right, let's share this one. Let's go to the New Testament. Matthew 15 and 24. Matthew 15. So we're gonna leave it when Christ before he died, what was his mission? And then after he died, let's see what is his what was his mission, right? <clears throat> Matthew 15, 24, then give me Acts 11, 19. Come on, sis, you can't leave here. Yeah? Isn't she a Christian likewise, mother? Yeah. She's a Christian, so why is she running away from God? I run away from God. All right, come God on, sister. Church. All right, let me interrogate you. Come on. Uh, uh, Matthew 15, 24. Listen, good sister. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. So we're reading the Bible, sister. Come on. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What did Jesus Christ just say? Yeah, so who's the lost sheep of Israel? Ah, that's it right there. Yeah. You heard the million dollar question? She said, who is the lost sheep? I keep hearing about this Israel. Israel, who is the lost sheep of the house of Israel? The lost sheep of the house of Israel, you're looking at them right now. Yes, the I blacks know. and the Armenians here everybody in Lynn. Whoa, how do you get that? Everybody else. So everybody in France is on the lost sheep of Israel. What scripture you got that says that? What scripture you got that says everybody's an Israelite? No, what scripture you got that? Listen to me. What scripture, sister? No, we can't get your words, you know. We got Here's why. First Peter 4 11. Let me show her why I'm asking her for a scripture that says that. Because remember, at the end of the day, sister, you and I would have a debate because we're using our own words. But you and I agree on the Bible. Right. So if you pull a scripture, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I have to agree because I believe in the Bible likewise. Listen something. You have to interpret scriptures based on just what you read. If you're not spiritually guided, you cannot tell me what you see. So how do you get spiritually guided? Bring okay. it up. All right, before we get to the spiritually guided part, watch why I said you got to get the Bible. 1 Peter 4, 11. Okay. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, and verse 11. Here it comes. If any man speak, if any man or any woman decides to speak, open their mouth. Let him speak as the oracles of God. How should they speak? As the oracles of God. So the Bible says if we want to teach this book, we got to ensure we're speaking by the oracles of God. Meaning what? We got to speak the words of God, not our own thoughts. Yeah. So that's so what I'm getting at. Listen, <coughs> Let me hear you now, sister. Go ahead. Who represent the oracles of God? The oracles of God is the word of God. Let me show you that in Romans chapter 3. Right. So, Romans oh, 3 and verse 1. No, you ask a question. Let me answer you. I know. Listen to this. So you know so, it's the word of God. Who does God give his secret to? Give me that in uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Let me show you. We're going to show you. Amos 3 and 7. So the question the sister asked was, who does God give his secrets to? Let's read the Bible. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. What are we reading today, brother? We're reading the Holy Bible. King James Version. Amos 3 and 7. Let's go. <coughs> the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Come on. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Surely the God of Israel will do nothing on this earth. But he revealeth his secret. But he does what? He revealeth his secret. Come on. Unto his servant, the prophets. God reveals his secret system unto his servants, the prophets. Yes. Who are the prophets? Let me ask you. Oh, give me Amos 2 11 now. You see, brother, every question she's asking, we can go into the Bible and answer it. Amos 2 11. Amos 2 11. 
You are not answering anything. Amos 2 11. Let's see, what, let's see who the prophets are. You're not answering the book of Amos, chapter 2. Why are you saying I'm not answering anything when I'm reading the Bible, sister? You know what the problem is? She doesn't want to hear the Bible. That's right. You know what she wants? She wants us to close this book and let us dialogue. Let's read the Bible. Let's see who the prophets are. You ask the question, let's see who the prophets are. Come on. Bring it up. The book of Amos. Don't run, sister. The truth comes out you can run. Why are you running? Don't run. Amos 2 11. The book of Amos, chapter 2, verse 11. Who really is the mother? Is that younger one the mother? Why is she pushing your way? That's a disrespectful daughter you have. She should not be doing that. Amos 2 11. Let's go. And I raise up your sons for prophets. The Bible says you raise up your sons for prophets. This is the word. Come on. And your young men for Nazarites. And it says the young men for Nazarites. Here it comes. It is not even thus, O children of Israel. Oh, you what? O ye children of Israel. Hey, children of Israel are the prophets of God. Ezekiel right. right. was an Israelite. Right. Daniel was an Israelite. Right. Right. Moses was right. an Israelite. Right. Jeremiah was an Israelite. Right. Right. The prophets of God came from the 12 tribes of Israel. Let me show you who should be quiet. First Timothy 2 11. Sister, let me show you who should be quiet, sister. Sister, let's see who should be quiet the front of the Alright, let me hear you. Come, let me hear you. Come, come, let me hear you. Let me hear you, sister. Answer no question. I'm answering out to the Bible. You don't want to hear God's words. That's the problem with our people. Identify the prophet for this case. Who's the prophet for this case? Give me, uh, what did I say? Get, get me? Let, let me, uh, 1 Timothy 2 11. Malachi 4. Oh, you know the Bible. You know the Bible. Malachi 4. Tell me if you know this verse, sister. Tell me if you know this verse. 1 Timothy 2 11. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 11. Oh, quick. Sister, let's see if you know this verse. Let the woman learn in silence. Hey, sister. Don't disturb the sister. You come in like Satan right now, sister. You're trying to divide the sister from hearing the word of God. That's Satan right there. Satan would want to pull someone away from hearing the words of God. Amos 2.11. Uh, 1 Timothy 2.11. Come on. Come on, man. Book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. What did it say about the sister? Let the woman learn in silence. God says let the woman learn with her mouth closed. That's right. The problem with the women here in Linda, they got a big mouth. That's right. That's why they are present in the house, but the man is absent. The man ain't around. What are you doing, brother? You got a minute to dialogue by the word of God, brother? You got a minute? You don't believe in God? Why not, brother? Why you don't believe in God? No, you ain't God, brother. Get me out of poverty. Get me out of slavery since you're God. You see the curses our people say? I am God. But you got to pay your bills. I am God, but you live in an apartment. That makes no Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 